What's going on everyone and welcome back to another tips and tricks video for your PlayStation where today I'm going to be showing you guys every way that you can check for stick drift on your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. This is a fairly common issue so I wanted to show you guys three easy ways that you can see if your controller might have this problem. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now for this video, I'm gonna be using a PS5 controller that actually has stick drift. So you guys will have a pretty good example of exactly what this looks like. Now the first way is by actually using the motion sensor controller demo in Astro's Playroom. And this is a free game. So basically anyone who has a PlayStation 5 can do this. But what you wanna do is just very slightly tilt your controller forward. And you wanna do this until you can see a side profile view of the analog sticks. And you just wanna hold it very still and take a look at the analog sticks. If you see that one analog stick looks like it's leaning or shifted more than the other, then the issue with your controller is most likely stick drift and you should probably either replace the controller or even think about sending it in. This next method is probably the most common way that PlayStation users will notice stick drift and that is when you're playing a game. Now what I always recommend doing is first, placing your controller down on a flat even surface, such as a table or on the floor. And then if you notice that your screen is moving even though you're not touching the controller at all, then you know that you probably have stick drift on your PS5 controller. As you can see, we're not touching the controller at all, but our screen is very slightly just moving over to the right side. And lastly, my favorite way is using the computer program DS4 Windows to test the input signals of your controller. First, we're going to plug the controller in. And as you can see, looking at the controller readings, the left analog stick input is perfectly lined up. However, with the right analog stick, you can see there is a significant misalignment, which is causing the stick drift in this particular PS5 DualSense controller. So now you guys know all of the ways that you can check for stick drift on your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller before you end up spending money to replace it or send it back. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it useful or at least interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video.